Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a new video. Today, don't judge me. I know what I said last year. I know what I said. But she got me. <laughs> okay, so last year I said that I was not going to be taking part in Deck of Panning in 2023 um, because I wanted to take a slight step back from Project Panning because I wanted to play with my makeup throughout 2023 because I was feeling a little bit stifled by doing too many Project Pans over the last few years that I realised I uh, A was losing interest in my makeup and B had not touched the majority of my makeup collection because I was so uber focused on my Project Pan items. So I wanted to play with my makeup this year and not be so stuck by Project Pans. And I was doing really, really well. And then Emily put up her intro video for Project Deck of Panning. And I was like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I can't, I can't. You know, it's a great idea when you just can't stop yourself. I love this project. It just speaks to me in volumes. So if you don't know, me and my husband, we collect playing cards. Um, so for the last two years, I've been using his deck of dragon playing cards. However, yeah, uh, this is our collection of playing cards. Now, there, to be fair, I, I will. Okay, so there's a couple of packs of top trumps in here as well. Oh. And there's a couple of packs of Uno in here as two packs, because of course, uh, he had to have his Fast and Furious version of Uno as well. Um, and there are some duplicates, like we have two packs of, of certain packs of cards. But yeah, we have a lot of cards. This isn't even all of them. Um, I forgot to bring through uh, a couple that I have in my reading room, which were given uh, sent to me by Fairy Loot in my Fairy Loot boxes. And then also my husband got two new packs of cards for Christmas that were personalised uh, for him, uh, bought by my daughter for him for Christmas. I haven't put those in here yet. Um, so yeah we have we have more packs of cards there's at least four more packs of cards uh plus this pack uh to go back in here so um so i thought that instead of just using the one pack of cards every month um i'm, I'm gonna be using a different pack every month and just showcase you my different sets of cards. Now, some of these are a bit banged up. I've got to say that they're, they're really banged up and they're just plain boring. Some are apparently still in their wrappers. Um, and then, and then we have, uh, we have some more dinosaur ones. And um, yeah, so we, we have a lot. So um, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna go through. Uh, what, which one shall we use today? Which one shall we use today? Um, I have quite a few Harry Potter ones uh, and Lord of the Rings. Um, by the way, I bought quite a few of these for my husband. So um, let's go for, we'll go for the Lord of the Rings pack. So this, it comes in a, metal tin put you out of the way comes in a metal tin like this and then she struggles to get them open they have backs like that and then the playing cards are actually like a map how cool is that um let's see oh the Jokers, there's obviously two Jokers, are both Gollum. How cool is that? Um, so we'll keep one of those in and then slide it into the centre. So a deck of panning is basically a project that Emily 
uh, got inspired for by watching Books with Maddie, a booktuber uh, here on YouTube who does deck of TBR game using a deck of cards to help her pick her monthly TBR and I am so pants at shuffling, sorry. Um, Emily thought this would be great to transfer over into the project panning world so she asked permission from Maddie to to do that. Maddie said yes, of course, uh, because she's such a lovely person. And um, and so for the last two years, the project panning community has been playing this game every month. So the idea is that you start off uh, picking five cards, and then uh, the each month uh, Emily shuffles the board so that. The same card is not the same prompt each month. So you might pull, say, the Two of Hearts uh, twice uh, consecutively uh, in two separate months. Like, you know what I mean? You might pull the Two of Hearts this month but and you might pull it again next month, but it won't be the same prompt necessarily. The only prompts that stay the same are the face cards. So that's Ace, Jack, Queen and King. Um, and then, of course... Um, the Joker card is always the same, which is the are you freaking joking kind of prompt. It's something that you don't really want to pan, something that you know is going to take quite a while for you. It's 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 the one you don't want. So uh, she has changed up what the face card prompts are for this season. And it is it's, it's pretty much that that has drawn me back in um, because uh, she's she's made some really, really good prompts for the face cards this month, uh, this year, sorry. And also uh, she has divided them between the red face cards and the black face cards as well. And then also she has added a new rule in where you can veto uh, a prompt. So if you really, really cannot fulfill a prompt, then you can veto it. Um, I'm assuming only once per month or roll in. Uh, but if you do veto, then you have to pull two cards. Um, and uh, so you end up pulling two prompts instead of just the one if you decide to veto. So uh, saying all that, let's get into it. Let's pull our first card. I just saw the bottom card, so I know I'm not going to get that one. Uh, so our first card is <laughs> the Black Ace. And that is um, a focus pro product. Right, so I'm going to have to look that up as to what she means by that. The second card is the Nine of Clubs. Okay, and... That one is uh, a powder, okay. The third, the four of clubs, okay. So the four of clubs is a baked product. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the fourth card, we're pulling all the clubs. Do you think I shuffled these right? The, the 10 of clubs. Um, I'm gonna shuffle while I look. Spotlight a panner. Ooh, spotlight a panner. I'm gonna have to check on that one. Um, okay. I'm gonna give these an extra little shuffle. I'm gonna do my little thingy thing. Right. Hopefully we won't get clubs. Watch me pull another bloody clubs. It's a spade. <coughs> so we have the Ten of Spades. So the Ten of Spades is pretty packaging. Oh, pretty packaging. Okay, so I will shop my stash for those items and I will be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I am back. I've picked out all of my items. So let's go through it. So for the Ace of Spades, it was a focus product. And for that one, uh, the the prompt basically means to look back at your yearly goals and um, use this uh, prompt to basically focus in on those goals and see what you can do. So what I did was I went to my list of products I plan to pan in 2023 and this is one of them. This is 
well it's not but it's in the packaging for the physician's formula nude wear powder thing but it isn't it's a bunch of um highlighters that i repressed into here last year i panned uh, a quarter here um this year in this project i want to pan this quarter it's very very thin there as you can see it's a very very thin layer um so my goal is to finish this um it took me about six months or so to finish this last like to finish the other quarter it's a shiny pan i can't uh so it took me about six months i believe to like finish this quarter so we could be here for a while with this product but um yeah my goal is to finish this and um there is a swatch of it so this one uh so yeah we have that item for the nine of clubs the uh, prompt was powder so i have took that literally and gone for a setting powder this is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless um powder in porcelain and as you can see i already have a lot of pan in there um so my goal is to finish this up i really like this powder um but i put it aside because i was shopping my stash basically um so i knew that at some point i could put this into a project pan and finish it so that is for the nine of clubs the next card I pulled was the Four of Clubs and the prompt for that was a baked product. So you might think I'm crazy because um, it's another highlighter, but this is only in for a usage goal. I am going to try and use this project for using up products because I do have my shop, my stash for kind of usage of my makeup. Um, but there are a couple of items that I did bring in today that are just going to be for usage goals. So this is the Laura Geller Baked uh, Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. Absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. Um, this is only in for 10 uses. It is this gold highlighter here. So you can see that they are completely different. So this one is more like white and this one is gold so it just depends on what kind of look i want to go for um so i feel like they're not going to clash in my usage kind of thing um so yeah this is only coming in for 10 uses the next card i pulled was for the 10 of clubs and the the prompt was to spotlight a panna hmm i wonder which panna i'm going to spotlight well yeah you guessed it i'm going to spotlight the creator of this project emily uh from emily and max channel um so i decided to take inspiration from one of her other project pans that she does which is the graveyard project pan and in that one uh there are two um sort of focuses there's the graveyard project which is stuff that um, you have tried to pan in a project before but you didn't quite meet your goal and then there's the gathering dust part um, which is products that just have not seen the light of day in quite some time in your collection because you've been too busy focusing on other products so I decided to go for something that I tried to pan last year I've been trying to pan this for so long guys guys it's back <laughs> but you're sick and tired of seeing this product aren't you this is my number seven uh, stay perfect shade and define eye pencil in gunmetal gray it's going guys it's going look at it there's just that little nubbin left just that little nubbin why are you taking me so long why i don't know why so i am going to use this project to finish this goddamn thing uh there it is swatched on my hand uh so it's a beautiful color i love it it's gorgeous i will miss it when it's finished but my god this thing has lasted me forever um so yeah that is in to finish i'm determined this is the year guys and you are going to be there with me to cheer me on and encourage me and just throw a party when this damn thing is empty <laughs> my god <laughs> 
I'll just be glad not to have to speak about it again. I love it, don't get me wrong, and I would happily, happily repurchase this in the same shade, in the same shade, because it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it, but my goodness, I have been trying to pan this for years and it still won't die. Um, still as creamy as the day I bought it. <sighs> anyway, uh, so moving on, uh, the last card we pulled was the Ten of Spades. Um, just thank God it wasn't another clubs. And for that, the prompt was pretty packaging. And um, Mac gets me every time with their pretty packaging. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Look at it. And the colour is stunning too. Uh, so this is a lipstick in, uh, what are you called? Natural Born Leader. Yes. Uh, and there it is there absolutely gorgeous absolutely i'm not going to try and pan this no way that will take me uh, a decade so this is also in for 10 uses so only the two products the um laura geller highlighter and the lipstick are in for 10 uses everything else <laughs> is in to finish so um that is my intro for this project now in the past two years what i have done is whether i have an empty or not or a rollout or not i've always pulled one card during every update because let's face it that's the fun part of this project pan however i have given myself the stipulation that i will allow myself to do this project because I did say I wasn't going to but I am not going to roll in another project until I have something to roll out because I do not want to be inundated with project pan items like in previous years so that I can't play with the rest of my makeup because that is so not the focus for this year um, the focus is to play with my makeup, to enjoy it, to rotate through my stash um, and use up what I can when I can. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to overindulge myself with project panning items. I don't want this as it has done in the past. It's, it's grown from like five items at the beginning to almost 10 items by the time I, you know, I'm halfway through the product project so yeah i'm not going to be rolling a new card in every month um but just because that would i just i need to control myself i need to so yeah don't be expecting me to pull a new card every month um unless i finish something or i hit my usage goal i am going to try and focus on these products uh to get those um uh, rollouts but uh, and I'm going to be mindful when I do pick items that, okay, uh, you know, I need to be mindful that I want to be rolling in new items every now and again. Uh, so that's why it, these are only 10 uses, where is it in the past I've gone like, oh, well, it's 2022, let's have 22 uses, or it's 2023, let's have 23 uses. I'm not doing that this year because, um, as I say, I'm being more mindful about what I am actually panning and uh, trying to rotate through my collection so that is it thank you to emily for creating this project pan thanks to books with maddie for allowing emily to adapt her tbr game um but yeah she got me <laughs> damn it girl <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that is that. I hope you enjoyed this intro. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. 